Hey guys, this is Nate at Stowe Training Systems and today I want to talk to you about why we train the core the way we do. Quickly imagine that you have one of those wire coat hangers and that you begin to bend it back and forth. At first this coat hanger doesn't really move, but if you keep bending it back and forth it'll start to develop like a little white line in the middle, get real hot, and you do it some more and that coat hanger will finally tear in half. In this analogy, that coat hanger would be our lower back. So instead of training it to bend and twist and do a lot of moving, we want to train it, train it not to bend, not to twist, to uh, prevent those movements. <clears throat> so that involves a lot of isometric exercises. Our favorite is the dead bug, simply because it's the easiest to teach. Second, most folks have what's called anterior tilt, meaning that the front of the pelvis is lower than the back. Next time you're standing in line at the grocery store, look at people's belts and you'll notice that the belt buckle usually lower than the back of the belt. Training the core with the dead bug and variations of that tilts the pelvis into a more optimal alignment. This helps get rid of a lot of different aches and pains where that pulling sensation is simply because the pelvis was out of alignment. Two, when we do free weights, the big difference between free weights and machines is that all free weight exercises are by definition core exercises. However, if we don't learn to train that core and recruit that core in this sort of isolated environment, it's not going to be very easy to do in a more complicated movement. Finally, the core helps with force transfer. Oftentimes with exercises, you're holding the dumbbells in your hands or on your shoulders, say. However, it's a leg exercise. Well, something has to transfer the force from holding the weights in your upper body throughout your lower body. And that would be, guess what? The core musculature. So there you go, why we train the core and why in particular we like the dead bug for this exercise.